my dear busy mothers. Oftentimes you're caught up on your digital devices. Do you want to do a digital declutter? Let me help you to get started. Welcome back to my channel where I will be providing you with information on how you can declutter your digital devices. Now, my dear busy mothers, oftentimes we are on our phones and, you know, you should consider getting rid of content that is no longer important to you if you want to declutter effectively. In order to ensure that you can locate the data that you want to save, you should think about how you plan to organize your data. A digital declutter can be approached in a variety of ways. Just as there are numerous methods for organizing your home, to clean your technology, you will probably take much less time, you know, comparing to your home, but it is very much needed to declutter. First, let's look at your emails. If your email is your primary means of communication, then you need to clean your email and get rid of those that are spam emails so you can get your emails. If your email box is full, you won't get your important emails. So although they may send you emails and you want to keep up with, you know, communication, you, if you don't care about some of these emails, just delete them from your email. And um, if you purchase stuff online, they may want you to create an account to make it quicker, even in that event, right? If you're not going to make another purchase, please delete the account and that email use. Um, if you have password using on your email and you forget them or you no longer use these password um, websites these are going to become a clutter problem so you need to delete the account or change the password and use them so for physical businesses you may provide your email for the receipts make sure that you store them for a number of years and you can go back through and eliminate some of these emails that you no longer serve you any real good purpose purpose um, whether you do a single session of decluttering your email or a number of short ones, then you must make sure that you organize the email so that, um, you know, you can get your email box cleaned up. So now, my busy mothers, you may use email for your work. So for your work files, keep the box, um, you know, Use your inbox and whatever is in the inbox that you're not using, please delete them. So now let's look at the physical storage devices, the hard drives, the flash drive, your memory cards. Um, for example, you may, you know, accumulate a lot of papers and files over time. Review them individually and get rid of those that serve, you no, that serve no purpose anymore. So basically, if you need, you know, to clean up junk in your computer that are found that you've downloaded, delete them. You want to have a clutter-free um, email system. Let's look at your smartphones, my dear busy mothers. So let's say you have a large storage on your phone. You can make use of online storages such as Google Drive and iCloud. And for more storage, you may add memory card. Now, if you use a memory card in your phone, you can save images and movies rather than using up the space on your phone itself. So you can automatically back up your information to the cloud. It's a great place, you know, to save um, on your memory card as well. So periodically, you must declutter your devices. Delete unused applications and therefore you have some built-in apps on your phones that cannot be removed from your phone stop using them and you know you can turn them off so that they do not take up any space on your phone let's look at your computers you have undoubtedly gathered a lot of things over time if you routinely save fast your hard disk or your computer so even if you save on the cloud service it's probable that at least some of your data is still on the hard drive now basically another thing you can do is declutter your software by um, if things that you no longer use, then you can just remove them from your hard drive and free up some space for you to use. Also, you can 
save you know frequently visited websites as a bookmark in your web browsers so you probably have all your favorite websites saving one folder if you just use the default setting for this even if you are organized and you have folder set up there may be a jumble of website that you no longer visit and they're saving your favorite list periodically go through and remove them remove the ones that you no longer need and create folders to organize websites you you know make future search easier you have recordable tv boxes if you watch a number of streamlined um movies and therefore the popular streamlined services many of them you still watch them on television these are programs that you can record and watch at a more convenient time so re re record them on the hard drives and frequently commit to um you know setting the dvr to recording it your trailer the trailer series and those that you're never really watching just go ahead and delete them because they accumulate and take up space over time now these recordable devices often have a large storage capacity or if, if you store items on them in case you think you're going to watch them you might discover that you run out of room so one thing to keep in mind is that you never if ever you switch to a tv provider they when you switch they um, are going to need their boxes, which implies that your favorite programs will also end. So you don't really want to switch um, between network providers. So another thing is to another solution. You might think that it's cumbersome, but always find ways to back up your shows to other you know, storage devices. It's worth searching for your service providers or TV box model to see if you can back up those, um, those storage, those recordable box because just as a hard drive, there uh, may be some occasional issues at times. You may have music as well that you love, but you may have some playlists that you've never gone through the music over a while, and they have become very outdated. And, you know, go through your music collection to see if there's any that you don't listen to anymore. And just go ahead and delete those, you know what I'm saying? So work your way through each folder on your devices and decide what you're keeping, what you're removing. Consider arranging them in files so you don't need whatever you don't need. You get rid of those. And those that you want, store them and have backup storage, okay? Organize yourself digitally as well, my busy mom. Setting up a way that you stay organized, being aware of what you have, what you don't want to have, keeping your information in one location. And you can use the cloud storage. Many companies provide you with an amount of space for free so that, you know, can enhance your storage space so think about ways to organize in your data in terms of go through them and make it quick and simple for you to access files for yourself and be dependable by making sure that you develop the practice of dealing with new objects as they arise after you go through the work of sifting through and clearing out your clutter ensure that all crucial information is backed up it is Anything that you know you're going to need, very important information, please, please back them up safely. So check the links above and the description below. Check in the box below and the links above to see more awesome videos on decluttering and investing, parenting tips, meal delivery services, among others. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoy creating it for you, my dear busy mothers. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I invite you to join my channel when I upload another video for you. Hit the notification bell so that you will be informed when I upload yet another video for you, my dear busy mothers. So until next time, bye.